All right, okay, guys, guys, here's part two of this just tutorial. Uh, I just want to reference what we're doing. First of all, uh, this is a simple blocking method. I'm going to get my cube of, uh, icon and uh, modeling a simple character. I'm actually what going we were referencing to earlier just is this drag out chibi style the of base characters. Right now, okay? Okay? And I'm just and notice how the big head, the simple body, and uh, the grid here to help you simple structures. Okay. And most of the so detail will come in later. Over. And what's interesting um, about these models yeah, that's here one in common, bring obviously, out. it's a certain style. Big and I'll show you one more method. The uh, simplest uh, method is let my make a key for so you press this one for scale. But what I want to bring about you know, is this. Say, this if we're actually going to print these on the 3D printer, we okay. can have a so this point here my sticking out like that. So we want to find a system where the arm bends in. Comes in a box and look okay. at the weight height and, and so uh, on. But well, so the know, model start it's looking fine. Start but let's concentrate this on the way um, this one will start moving to the bottom. So we're going to do snacks. something like this. <laughs> All right. Uh, simple Just version of this. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so let's look at these, these subdivisions. If I press three right now, so you can see here I'm thinking perhaps the neck can come out here. Maybe the arms. Let's do another this for height. So just for fun. Let's do a few things. Let's okay, see what we can do and this I'm going to leave the depth below. Okay, now. I'm going to press W again to right. get out of this um, right now. W again. And just R just to scale right it up. Click. Get the face. Know why a touch. For example, w notice again now if I can extrude, okay. for example. So if I extrude my piece. right here. And I can press around, E for rotate. Down. And right. I can just So move this is now it's in full mode, meaning w I'm in object mode. So what I want to do is get under the hood. Notice also right now this body is super huge. So for what I want to do is extrude here. Not thin. Okay, so let's do this quickly. I'll okay, so let's stop use the extrude tool up here. From the center too. And we do have options See? later on when you That's can pretty cool. So do if I just sort of extrude again. For now, let me just press extrude. I'm just going to do parts of it. I'm not going to um, do the full thing. Notice so that the easiest method for you right now is well, to either right? crank so the axis method. here. The method is or work on the thickness right there. And then w so there it is. I just did that. This right. way. If I press W to rotate. And we're trying to bring it back into the body. And let's just make one more here. Like that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to uh, try to do So this is going to be the head. Right? Noticing, uh, yeah, that's not bad. And again, I'm going to try to uh, rotate it. Bring yeah, if, you, if you're the type that uh, you have the visual right in front click. of you, the sketches so that you made, you'll know that. Or change Maybe, to go to edge. Watch you know, this. We'll Double click. More here. R again. And Scale always from the again. center. Look at that, yeah. right? We just made that Okay, I'll leave this alone. And W down. I'm going to come back and work on the arms. And then so make even an selecting, R to holding Alt, Oops. spinning around my left apologies. click, and then Shift, just select the second that, one. That way. Okay, I, d I am going to do another version of this where in closer, I only model uh, the first sorry, half. The okay, but we're not quite closer. there. Um, okay. We're not there yet. This so is like the first panel, stages of modeling uh, the I'm just going to go to orthographic for you guys. Front. I'll add more complexity and simplicity later. So there it is. The two sides are selected. Okay, nothing else as you can Way so what if I use the, select I'm just going to say right? extrude again, I'm going to select extrude, a couple plural. options, so you can just bring down here, look at that, here. that's Done. pretty cool, Okay, bring it right over, there. next I'm going to come and down here, these one, ones here. two, and perhaps select we can one, rotate hold shift, well. select the second, so okay, so now, now if I press G, it repeats the last command, excellent, and I'm going to bring that in a bit, expand it here, okay, these are little puppets that we're going to print out in the 3D printer, okay, so we're not going to get super detailed, press G again, just simple blocking. And I'm using faces, Close edges, that. and vertices. And all right. So I'm just going to hold the space bit. bar, right click over and the word Maya, front faces, one, go two. to perspective, holding shift, spin around, again look at the last one, and not bad. Okay. Boom. There it is. Um, okay. How's that? Zooming so far, in so using good. my scroll button. Let's do something. And then this time I'm going to come in here and face. Three. And then extrude. Again, Boom. it's just for one, fun. One, two, three, coming out. Okay. I'm thinking this is the chin area. So again, after you extrude, you can do a few things. You can go to scale, which is R. So let's just, in, what I just did, simply uh, selected one face for holding shift. And then shift. There, I'm trying to bring Hold this into the body. Now, spin right? around, boom, w, one, two, three. And done. here we go. So okay, you get again, bring the whole in the goal is to bring it right into the body in voila, here. Voila, on um, this axis right maybe here. Maybe I'll bridge it, actually. And if if you want to keep your life well. simple. And you can yeah, left click inside the word thickness. Okay, so object mode. How's that? Let's let's just, because we just did something. All right, so that's our first stage right now. And simple enough. Give it a number two. And some of you have discovered my uh, the smooth mode. So right now it's a little really choppy. If I press please three, please three. there's your little puppet. Okay, so I'm just okay you'll notice later on that I will add in segments in here to help you guys work this out. Okay, right uh, back to one. To get out, okay? And don't ever stay in this tool. It's there's dangerous. a lot of things you can do right now. Okay, you can look at this and go, okay, okay what so I say? From the object, we're back in the whole thing. Right click and go to vertex. So you can select vertices here. A marquee select this. Bring this down a touch. Version of the Look at that. You will see that the character is rounding out nicely select. here. Okay. All right. Later so on, we're, we're trying to even start now. make the shapes more cuts become make more this interesting. More, uh, now, to do this properly, it should actually okay. be so we'll bring back panels. our tool back. Orthographic front. 
Even though you can see front has, here, folks, so this is in perspective. You see the vanishing point the like somewhere so down there? Do that. This is, this so now has notice a, the difference uh, now. Watch this. So it's not a check true boom front view. One. So I'm going to just go to panel. Press three. Orthographic now we have a better front system. Now this becomes looking a, a little weak under here. Image. And so okay. like awesome. this transition. So again, I can come in here now and just mark these like all these guys. I double the cuts and leave them be better. Um, I'm going to add these guys out there. And again, this isn't the best method of creating a character, but you have to work in stages, folks. Boom. All right, and then so what w I can do right now is I can let's bring, bring these that guys up. up a touch. Okay, so notice now oh, up a nice this character's big head object mode, uh, small P3 and chibi so style. Now okay, it's we're going to do something like that. Really well. Object. Okay. For now, it's cool. So we're doing that. I'm going to come over here. My shades in here as well. One, two, wireframe. three. Like all, all these areas good need of additional locked out model information. Okay. All right. So we'll take this to the next level for now. I think it's pretty good. Hold the and space again, bar, right click on the word Maya, and, and go here. to my perspective view, mesh. spinning around, Insert edge loop. Okay. okay, this is looking here. pretty good. Uh, now, I think I have something maybe I'll, I'll add one more thing for you guys. Uh, I think my uh, uh, option settings yeah, may go to the center this, all the time, We'll do a part two for this tutorial, all right? Press F10, see if folks value now. Let's see what we got here. Multiple edge, equal distance. I have one, auto-complete, fix quads. Okay, and then here we'll compare one from the other. Again, the whole body selected. And press three. <coughs> Notice how this part is cleaner than that side, right? Me, <coughs> pardon moi. All right, so we'll add some more cuts at the feet as well here. Okay, now notice again. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's just bring it in. Edit mesh. Insert edge loop. Back in here. W. I'll slide it down, and I'm going to press R to scale this in. I want to taper the feet a bit. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's going to look already better, right? That's looking pretty nice. Usually, guys, when we get uh, more comfortable in this modeling approach, our models won't be four sided. It'll be eight sided for the arms and and uh, legs and feet. So eight sided as opposed to four. But for now, this is a good start. So that's one detail there. Maybe I'll uh, do something here for the eyes for you guys quickly. But again, let me just check how the poly uh, topography looks here. Okay. Um, hey, let's do this real quick before I do. Double click, hold root, R. I'm just going to taper it a little bit for the waist, just a touch. Okay. Just a touch to differentiate where the waistline is. And again, proportionally, it's a little off. Right click, boom, and three. Okay. Notice how nice that is now compared to that one. A little bit of taper is nice. This guy coming in. In the next uh, video, I'll show you how to connect this end to that. Okay? Press W. I'm going to save this. And let's keep all these tutorials short. Thank you. Mr. Bellion's out.